Hello and welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Uh, in today's video, I would like to show you a, a few oils, uh, what we could use inside and out. It's really important to lubricate ourselves from inside and outside. So I already talked about coconut oil and how I use it. Um, I'm using food grade coconut oil. It's in a pot like this. You can bake and cook with this. Um, and I also use it uh, as a sunscreen. So it's really great, great for my skin. I love it very much. It makes my skin really soft. I don't use too much. So you only need like a small amount. Then you rub it really well in and your skin is gonna be really nice and soft and of course glowing. It smoothens out the fine wrinkles too, but most oils do that actually. The other thing I wanted to talk about is a very common sunseed oil. Uh, this is one of those uh, with um, infused herbs. There is garlic, oregano and uh, tomato inside. And uh, this is also really great for seasoning. Uh, this is something uh, you can try it out uh, yourself if you cannot buy a ready-made one. So you just buy like a good quality oil, um, edible grade obviously, and then you just put your seasoning inside, inside, let it soak, let it, let it blend all in, and then you can use it for seasoning. It's quite cool really. And um, the other thing I wanted to talk about today is um, poppy seed oil. And uh, that might be something new maybe for you. Um, this is 100% uh, cold pressed poppy seed oil. Um, you can use it internally and externally too. If you use it uh, internally, it's really poppy seed itself and the oil. It's really good for the heart. It's really good for the circulatory system. So for your veins and it lifts, it lifts up your mood. So it's uh, going to make you feel more happy, more balanced. So I would say that uh, it's like a plus really, especially these days. You can use it uh, externally, uh, you can use it on your hair, the tip of your, your hair or on your face. And then all the nourishments of the oil gonna go um, not just into your skin, but into your whole body. I like using oils, especially edible oils, because most of them can be used also on my skin. So I find it really great that uh, you can nourish yourself with one thing, not just internally, but externally too. So I would suggest if you want to try out all these uh, products and uh, they are, I think, readily available everywhere. I'm not so sure actually uh, about the, the poppy seed oil, but the, definitely the coconut oil and uh, the sunflower oil is really great. And the real reason I wanted to make this video, actually I should have started with an example. Um, my friend, um, this is an example uh, from my friend. Um, he had uh, an operation on his neck and because of that he couldn't swallow very well and also there was not much saliva generated. Uh, which means that uh, when he was eating, obviously the food didn't break down uh, as fast or as well as it should have. And then, then when it come to the excretion, he had like uh, trouble with it. And uh, they went on a holiday and uh, on that holiday they happened to eat uh, a lot of salad uh, with oil on it. And um, then he realized how much it helped him. So he then bought a bottle of oil from that place and he kind of just uh, used it as to help uh, his uh, bowel movements. He would uh, just drink maybe one teaspoon and uh, that's it. Or he would just put it on his salad if he was eating a salad. 
So I wanted to point this out for you that it is really important to, to eat oils also. So fruits, vegetables, they are all great, but we also need some sort of fat inside just as much as we need it outside to lubricate and nourish um, ourselves from inside and out. So basically that would have been uh, my video for today and this is under 10 minutes so this is quite um, <laughs> quite short really um, there would be another thing I would like to talk about real quick um, in regards of exercise and my regime so um, what I'm do I, I was do I already showed you what I'm using and who am I following at the moment and uh, the actual exercise regime I'm following is uh, is like that so I would uh, do I have like a room cycle bicycle and I would put it on hard and I would do like 100 on this and then I have like a machine for the inside tight and I would do like 40 without hands on that and then I would do uh, 20 uh, sit-ups um, 15 to 20 side planks um, I would do also the breathing exercise while I'm doing my sit-ups. I would hold my breath and suck in my stomach. I would do some some sit-ups like that also. I don't know, like 5, 10, depending. And then I would do uh, some diamond push-ups, um, 15 to 20. And um, uh, usually I do this twice a day and then I just go about my everyday. So, because I really don't want to spend uh, hours in uh, doing exercise, so for me it works really well. It keeps uh, my muscles uh, kind of toned and I'm happy with that. So I thought I just gonna add this one uh, to this um, episode or video. So then uh, for a time being, I think uh, I can say that I'm finished with uh, the exercise regimes and routines. I have nothing else to say at the moment. Uh, but every exercise is good. So, you know, whatever suits you, you should follow that. I'm just saying that if you want to maximize your, your, minimize your time and maximize uh, the the results uh, you should really try this um, breath, breath holding stomach sucking in exercises they are really good so yeah that would have been uh, my video for today um, thank you very much again for watching it and I wish you a lovely day thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>